first disconnect the power and remove the battery when changing an LCD panel. Proceed with removing 5 rubber screw covers in the front, then 2 on the left side and 1 more on the right side. Next, proceed with removing all bezel screws. Start with the 3 larger screws on the bottom, then remove the 2 smaller ones on the top. Move on to the 2 more on the left side and the last one on the right side. Please keep the set of screws from each compartment separately from each other. Now you can remove the bezel to gain access to the LCD panel. Set the screen wide open and carefully start to pry open the bezel frame. Begin on one side, then move along the top and the bottom edges, lifting the bezel towards the other side. Do not apply too much force, since it can fracture the bezel. Next, remove one screw holding the inverter board to the top cover. Now you can disconnect the backlight power. Remove the two frame screws on each side. Please be careful with the Wi-Fi cables. Snap out the vanity light in order to gain access to the back of the screen. Flip the screen over. Peel off the tape, securing the video connector, and disconnect the video cable. Discard the old panel. Take the new screen out of the package. All our screens come in a plastic bag. Place this bag on the top cover to protect the new screen. You can also use a paper towel or a cloth. Reconnect the video cable. Be extra careful since all the connectors are very fragile. Flip the screen over and remove the protective film. Snap the vanity light back in. Reconnect the backlight power and secure the inverter with one small screw. Line up the screen with the frame and replace the four smaller screws on the right and the left sides. Line up all the cables with the screen frame. Now you can replace the bezel. Start on the side and gently snap around the perimeter. Leave the bottom edge unsnapped to align the video cable guide. Use a screwdriver to snap the guide into its axis. Now replace the three large bottom screws. At this point, it's safe to test the new screen. Plug the power and turn on the laptop. If the startup graphics appear, the screen is installed correctly and is working. Press and hold the power button again to cancel the boot up. Don't forget to disconnect the power. Finally, replace the two smaller screws on the top, two more on the left side, and the last one on the right side. You might need to align screw holes on the sides with a small screwdriver. Put on all the screw covers. Place the battery back in, reconnect the power, and done.